Hey guys, welcome to Central Kids Clubhouse. We're so happy you joined us today. Our theme this month is Promise. It's time to get up, find a good spot, and get ready to worship with us. Oh, I know God made me, and I know God loves me, and He knows. What's best for me, cause he knows every single thing And I believe his promise is true Cause everything he says he will do On a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday On a Wednesday, Thursday, Friday Hey guys, it's mail time. Let's see what's in the mail today. Wait, we've got a special friend with our mail today because we're gonna try to say our memory verse like a crab. Can you show me your crab pinchers? Like that. And I made a funny noise when I did it too. There's your memory verse. We've been practicing it for lots of weeks. So let's see if we can do it together. Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Everyone was fulfilled. Joshua 21:45. Now get out your crabs. Here's your pinchers. Ready? Not one of all the Lord's good promises to Israel failed. Oh. Everyone was fulfilled. Joshua 21:45. Great job, crabs. I mean friends. It's time for wardrobe of wonder. Let's see what's inside today. I know what it is. Clue number one, it's an animal. There's lots of animals, so that's not really a good clue to help you decide. Clue number two, it has a hump on its back. I bet you know what it is. Let's see, friends. Hey, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. It's a camel. Did you guess it, friends? In our story today, we're gonna learn about a man named Joseph and he had to learn the hard way to wait for God's promises because sometimes God's promises takes a long, long, long time to happen and he had to learn to be patient. Let's watch the story together and be sure to be looking for that camel. Shout it out! I think I've got to be the best at making slime ever. 
Do you like playing with slime? I can make slime out of anything. Toilet paper, paper, anything. Even sand. Speaking of sand, I wonder where my friend Dan is today. Hey Dan, what are you up to? Hey Callie, Callie, I found the most interesting creature and I'm so fascinated. What did you find? Callie, I found a turtle. A turtle doesn't care how fast the world is moving around it. It will move whenever it wants to. So it can't go fast? Not at all. Have you ever felt the need to want to go faster or get somewhere faster, but you still have to move slowly? Oh, yes. Whenever it's time for school to end, it feels like it's taking longer than usual. <laughs> exactly. That reminds me of the Bible story of Joseph. It's time for our Bible story. A long time ago, there was a man named Joseph. Joseph was a part of a very large family, so large that he had 11 brothers. Eleven? That's a lot of brothers. Yes, 11 brothers. Out of all the sons that his father had, Joseph was by far the favorite, and his father gave him a beautiful coat with lots of colors. The brothers were not happy about that. They became pretty upset and became jealous of Joseph. Oh, no! Things became worse for Joseph during this time because he would get special dreams telling the future. For example, he dreamt about 11 stalks of grain bowing to him. And then he also dreamt about the sun, moon, and 11 stars bowing to him as well. What did that mean? Most likely, it was a dream that reminded him of the brothers in his family. 11 stalks of grain, 11 stars. I'm sure Joseph thought of his 11 brothers when he woke up. The dream suggested that Joseph would become someone very important, maybe even more influential than all of his brothers. I hope he didn't tell his brothers his dream. I know, right? But he did tell them, and it made things worse. The brothers ignored all of the dreams and great things that Joseph told them would happen and came up with a plan to make him go away. How did they do that? They put Joseph in a hole in the ground, and when some traveling merchants came by, they gave Joseph to them to take far away. Merchants? Merchants are people who sell and buy things. These merchants were on their way to Egypt, and now Joseph was too. That's very sad. It was, but Joseph knew the dreams he was getting came from God. Wonderful dreams that God would make happen one day. He knew he had to wait and trust God even though he was far away from home now. Isn't that so interesting though, friends? Joseph knew that God promised great things, but it probably felt like they were never going to happen when he got into that bit of trouble with his brothers. But you know what? We're going to find out next time that Joseph's story is nowhere near done. I know that God will keep those promises in the end. Maybe now I can work on being more patient in school when the day is ending. Or not. <laughs> Catch you next time, friends. Bye. Callie out. Today's promise is that God's promises might take time. We just have to be patient. We don't know. Will God's promises happen fast? or will they take a really long time and happen in the future? But what we do know is they'll happen just at the right time. Let's pray together, friends. Dear God, thank you for your promises. Thank you that they happen at exactly the right time and that you know that, God, even if we don't. Amen. Well, thanks for joining me today, friends. Check us back next week for another story. Try the activity today. It's in the link below in the description. Also, Sunday mornings, you can check us out in person at Central Community Church, live. You just have to register to join us in kids' ministry. We'll see you then.